Recent fears that artificial intelligence may soon constitute a threat so severe that it could lead to extinction are, according to experts, exaggerated. Concerns about other ways in which artificial intelligence is transforming our world are warranted, however. The CEO of OpenAI was terminated amid controversy around QSTAR AI. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, was terminated by the board of directors a few days ago, which caused several of the staff to become quite upset. The mysterious artificial intelligence known as QSTAR was the cause of this. The board of directors was given a warning by a group of academics working for the company about the possible risks posed by QSTAR, which they feel might put the lives of people in danger. Artificial intelligence known as QSTAR is capable of predicting future occurrences and finding solutions to difficult scientific problems. As a result, it is a powerful tool that could have potentially harmful implications. As a result of the incident, the post of chief executive officer was changed three times in four days, which raised questions about the appropriate balance between nonprofit and for profit activities. OpenAI is a nonprofit organization that was established in 2015 to develop an artificial intelligence that would be of use to all of humanity. However, the organization has been experiencing problems as a result of the deterioration of the equilibrium between the ideologies of profit and nonprofit organizations. The company has introduced commercial versions of its artificial intelligence solutions such as ChatGPT+, as well as an application programming interface API that allows ChatGPT to be integrated with other services. Because of this commercial expansion, there is now a breach between the two parties, which has led to the current leadership change that has taken place within the corporation. At OpenAI, the times have been turbulent. The most recent happenings at OpenAI, a business that is at the forefront of the development of artificial intelligence, have been filled with a great deal of uncertainty and contention. Even though a conference was convened to present the efforts of the company to the general public, differences occurred almost immediately. On one side were individuals such as Greg Brockman and Sam Altman, who were advocating for commercial innovation. Altman was the president of OpenAI. The chief scientist, Ilya Sutskever, was on the other side of the argument. He was becoming more and more uneasy with the path the corporation was heading in. Ilya was especially concerned about how humans will be treated regarding artificial intelligence. He was afraid that GGI systems may treat humans in the same manner that people treat animals in the present day. An announcement on the development of a new super alignment team that would concentrate on AI safety measures was made by OpenAI in May. Ilya, who would have the responsibility of leading this team, concluded that around 20 of the computer chips that the corporation already possessed would be devoted exclusively to AI-related duties. The divides that existed within the company became transparent by August. Sam was more concerned with bringing in an additional billion dollars for investment to speed up the job that the company was doing whereas Ilya was more concerned with boosting the safety of artificial intelligence and taking the required measures. Following a series of incidents, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella exerted pressure on the board of directors to reinstate Sam as CEO. The board of directors took a position that was more likely to align with Ilya's viewpoint. Even though negotiations took occurred, Mira Marathi, who had previously served as the CEO of Twitch, was ultimately selected to take over as the new CEO of OpenAI on November 19th. There was a rift among the employees of the corporation, with the majority of them backing the former leadership. Microsoft, which owned a 49% share in a for-profit subsidiary, was also opposed to the idea of the company going out of business. They exerted pressure on the board to reinstate Sam as a result of this. On the other hand, a letter was sent out to all of the workers, threatening to resign collectively if Sam and Greg were not reinstated. Soon after Mira Marathi signed the letter, Ilya also signed it. The letter was initially signed by Mira Marathi, Ilya's statement that if the company did not survive what safety procedures would be done was a significant turn of events that led to a major twist in the plot. On the 21st of November, Sam was ultimately reinstated to his position as CEO of OpenAI. The two board members who had initially opposed this decision were removed from their positions and two new board members were appointed. Rhett Taylor, who had previously served as CEO of Salesforce, and Larry Summers, who had previously served as secretary. A new board for OpenAI was the first thing they were tasked with appointing. From Satya Nadella's point of view, the circumstances surrounding the event were such that Microsoft would emerge victorious regardless of the outcome. The personnel may be absorbed by Microsoft and continue their work inside a different department if OpenAI is unsuccessful. If OpenAI were to survive, however, it would continue to retain robust cooperation with Microsoft. It is difficult not to give a double take when you see recent headlines that warn that artificial intelligence may soon constitute a severe threat to human civilization. This is true even if you have not been following the various talks that are currently taking place regarding artificial intelligence. The stories revolve around recent statements made by several industry leaders, 
including one of the godfathers of artificial intelligence, that the technology is now evolving at such a rapid pace that it could represent a threat of extinction level sooner than expected, or at the very least trigger disruptions on a societal scale comparable to the recent global pandemic. In all honesty, if you are not an expert in artificial intelligence yourself, it might be difficult to determine what to make of such statements. There is no doubt that the current iterations of artificial intelligence are capable of doing remarkable things, including a great deal of things that humans could never accomplish. In addition, as we have mentioned in the past, the present technologies that are powered by artificial intelligence have a poor track record, whether it be the amplification of disinformation, the perpetuation of human racial biases, or the acceleration of criminal fraud. One may argue that it is not all that difficult to think that machines are on the verge of gaining the upper hand over mankind. However, he points out that these are very task-specific things with strict constraints. Artificial intelligence may be able to defeat the best human chess player or diagnose ailments that doctors are unable to properly diagnose. General intelligence, the kind of intelligence that humans possess, where we can adapt to new circumstances, that is not a kind of artificial intelligence that I would expect to see in my lifetime, he says. And about how progress has been made, I would say that it has been relatively consistent rather than rapidly accelerating. The current conversations on artificial intelligence sometimes fail to take into account a significant divergence between the various types of AI, which is highlighted by this development. The artificial intelligence of today, which is mostly powered by machine learning, is mission-specific. It is the technique that enables algorithms to learn the key properties of things, such as photographs of automobiles or x-rays of a specific form of cancer, when they are exposed to them for a sufficient amount of time. On the other hand, artificial general intelligence, also known as AGI, is an entirely separate species. Machines would be able to adapt to an almost endless variety of new activities, just like people do without having to be expressly trained or programmed to perform those tasks. This would be a significant advancement. Notably, Artificial General Intelligence AGI, does not yet exist, even though task-specific AI is becoming increasingly commonplace. It's a possibility that is questioned by some. Even if it were possible, many people believe that it would not look anything like the artificial intelligence that exists today. Right now, the future of OpenAI is in the hands of its new board, which must determine whether to place a greater emphasis on profit or to maintain the organization's commitment to its nonprofit objectives. The only thing that can tell us how this will affect the development of artificial intelligence and GGI is time. The one certain thing, however, is that artificial intelligence is here to stay and learning how to make efficient use of it will be essential to adapt to the changing environment. So this is the end of our today's video. Do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and informative videos.